Yeah. 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 Football feast. Uh, football feast. This the football feast. Extra podcast. Hey, football feast. Uh, football feast. Bro. Football feast. Extra podcast. Playing soccer. Grabbing keys. Playing soccer. Time to meet. Playing soccer. Time to meet. They finna talk a lot. Okay. Playing soccer. Get the keys. Playing soccer. Let's get it. Playing soccer. Let's go. Football podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the Football Feast Extra podcast. What a week it's been with so much to talk about, so much happening throughout the week. And I thought coming into this podcast that Jurgen Klopp announcing he's leaving Liverpool was going to be the biggest story of the week. But here with Billy and Barron, we're going to have to talk about Maidstone to start with. Um, who wants to start? Maidstone United beating Championship Ipswich Town. 98 places between them in the football pyramid. Absolutely crazy. Um. Well. I won't start on the the bet we should have done. (laughs) My bad. Sorry, guys. (laughs) But I want some money on it. But yeah, absolute madness. When they went one up, I still thought they're going to lose this because they got battered, didn't they? They was absolutely battered. And then when it went one all, I thought this is going to end up like five or six one maybe. And the fucker scored again. (laughs) Some great goals as well. The two goals were just the finishes were... The first goal is unbelievable. Mate, if, if Messi or Ronaldo does that, right, we're talking about that like non stop all week, aren't we? Yeah, That's how yeah. good that goal is. I mean, the second goal is just it's a standard <laughs> goal, isn't it? But the first goal, I know it was a bit of a breakaway, but like, the, mate, the composure, Looking. yeah, the finish. No, I'm assuming he is left footed, but like, he might not no, be. No, that was on his week. That was on his week. That's foot, what I, I mean. And it was just a, mate, it was just a beautiful, beautiful goal. He's a bus Did you hear what he said? <laughs> no, what, uh, Did you hear what he said? Because he was he was gonna he said he was gonna Thierry Henry esque take it around the keeper. But then <laughs> yeah, the keeper came to him, so he made his decision to just But what yeah, lovely finish. Great little dink. But well, I'd have just panicked and fell over. <laughs> panicked and just fucking hit it as hard as you could. <laughs> done the, done the Darwin Nunes and just smacked it. Stub, stub my toe as I'm running up to it and probably broke broke a toenail or something. But, Maybe um, Nunes yeah, Nunes no. needs to take lessons from him. Yeah. Nice no, I, do you know what? This is what I love about the FA Cup as well. I know people, like, people moan about it and things like that. This is what annoys me about like Arsenal getting knocked out so early and things like that. Like, it's just a great competition. I just love it. I love the FA Cup. Yeah, you know, you had, right. you had Rams get, get to round two where they've never been before. Maidstone are the first team since I think it's Blade Spartan in 77 to make this round. I know Lincoln yeah. were a conference team a few years ago, didn't they? They played Arsenal in round five uh, a few years ago. Um, yeah. But they, they were actually higher in a higher league than Maidstone. So, I am... Yeah. The, last I'm, 16, I'm, I'm, the last 16 I'm a bit gutted as well, because they were so close to getting Man City pulled out, wouldn't they? Even Luton would have been good enough, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, to take nothing away, Sheffield Wednesday have got a massive stadium. They've got a big support. You know, it'd be... If they get through... Even Coventry... Is it winnable as well? They've just beat Ipswich. I would say it's massive. I think Wednesday's more winnable than Coventry because Coventry are playing quite well at the moment. As they've just beat Ipswich, surely they're on a high. They're probably going to get smashed 8-0 by either one of them. That could happen easily as well. But they but could have lost to Ipswich 8-0. They could beat them. They could get yeah. something. And they would be in the last eight teams in the country. <laughs> the quarter final. They're not even top of the conference south, are they? They're fourth. No. They got relegated last season from the, the dig they were in. <laughs> I mean, that is brilliant, though. It's brilliant, isn't it? And think of the money, the revenue, you know. And it's the players as well. Like that, I bet, like next week when Maystone play their game, that striker had scored the chip. He's probably going to have four or five scouts down there, isn't they? Like League One, League Two teams. The, gonna keeper. Go. the keeper's going to have the scouts keeper was, because I mean well, the keeper was yeah, unbelievable. The Brazilian, <laughs> his kicking was awful. But <laughs> as a goalkeeper, <laughs> I mean, a team from like League One, League Two will definitely come in for him. I reckon. Yeah. But it, again, it's all money, isn't it? It's money that you know if they can sell a bloke for twenty, thirty, forty k, you know, it's big money to them down in that division. Yeah, I mean, one hundred twenty grand they got for winning that match. Um, yeah, that's it, what I mean. It, is it? Are we get onto the draw just, just, just in a minute? But. People are saying that it's not obviously not a good draw for Chef, uh, for um, Sheffield Wednesday or Maidstone because Sheffield Wednesday are in a position where they could have probably done with a Man City for that extra money. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. But 
I mean, it's still better for a base tone, isn't it, all day long? Because, like, yeah, I don't yeah, know what they get. I don't know what. I mean, they're going to gain more money, aren't they, from this next round? But I mean, I don't know what they get if they win this round. But it's it's also being on TV as well. If they're on TV again, yeah, it's it's all about the being away as well. Is probably good for them because I don't know how big Maystone's ground is, but it's not that big. They'll probably get more tickets going to Sheffield Wednesday, wouldn't they? Because Sheffield Wednesday ground's quite a big ground, isn't it? In yeah, right. It's quite it's quite a big stadium. Isn't it? It's forty forty odd thousand, isn't it? So they'll get a, they'll get ten thousand tickets probably. I was just about to say they took isn't four like... and a half thousand to Ipswich. Which is mad. Right, and that's not that's not a short journey, wasn't it? Like a ninety mile round trip or something. Yeah, and they average I think the guy on the thing said two, two and a half, I think, something like that. What for a game? Yeah. That's what I mean. So it's, it's good. And, a... Yeah. We'll do though, isn't it? Like they said something, didn't they, about they were in the first qualifying round, they were away and they took twenty eight fans with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, in the first qualifying off. round. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if the 28 fans are still there. Because it was down the road no, from where Ipswich was. Yeah, it's amazing as well. Fair but, play to him, yeah, fair play. Yeah. It's what I love but, about the FA Cup, I'll say. Looking at, looking at the rest of the draw now, I, I did come on here a few weeks ago and I said, after Arsenal got knocked out, I was obviously a little bit salty because we got Liverpool in that, <laughs> the third round. And I, and I said, why aren't these teams seeded so that the big teams aren't playing each other because you don't want to see well, Arsenal Liverpool in the third round with their squads rotated. You know, you want them in the final, which is all well and good. But now you look at this round, this draw... It's Premiership versus Championship, and nobody, apart from the teams involved, really want to watch the game. So actually, maybe that's not the right way to go. I don't, yeah, want, I to think, see, I think, I don't want to see the nah, big two teams in the final anyway. I like, no, I, I was about to say that. I like the Man United, Man, Man City's drawing each other, Arsenal Spurs, Arsenal Spurs drew each other a few years ago. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've had some really good third-round tyres over the years, but we've had some tough ones. I remember getting, like I say, with Liverpool this, this season... We had Man City in the fourth round last year. A few years ago, we had um, Spurs in the third round. I mean, I like it when the Prem teams draw each other because it does give the lower league chances. And would it be fun? I mean, don't know who the last championship team or well, it would have been Division Two back then, I suppose. But it has happened. Millwall. Did, I was going to say, didn't Sunderland do something like that? Didn't they win it when they were like? Oh, like it was like 1973. We was like, yeah, proper shit. <laughs> Yeah, what I mean is, though, weren't you, like, not in the top division or something? When was the last time? I don't know. Where's my phone? I'll Google it. We got in the um, Carabao Cup final when we had a uh, thingy, but we was like, we're still Premier League. I think, I'm think i sure it must be Millwall yeah. was the last one that got into the final when Man United knocked him out. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure final. someone won it. I'm sure a division, like, two club did win it once. Right, so Sunderland did win it when they were a second division club. In 73. Damn right. So I did. I thought they did. But the last team to win it, who weren't in the first division, because obviously it weren't the Premiership back then, was West Ham United in 1980. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I get what you're saying about about having the bigger teams knock each other out. It's good for the smaller, smaller clubs. And I guess I could see it both ways. It's probably just we've been on the wrong end of it for, for a few seasons. And I don't mind seeing it in like the fifth round or whatever. I just don't like seeing it in the third round. Like, it's annoying. It's frustrating. But then all the other teams, like your Everton's and your Luton's and them sort of teams, are probably looking at that thinking, we've got a chance of a nice little cut run. I do I do it. Like, I must admit, I know we were out of it, but when, when I saw Man City, Tottenham draw together in the fourth round, I thought, that's handy. Because if Man City get knocked out, like, at least they can't win another trophy because it is boring when they win it all the time. And then I thought, well, if Spurs get knocked out, that's handy because they're trophyless for another season, so I can take, take the mick out of all them again. And so if for you me, see, that was a win-win situation. Also, if you see it, Mason don't get into no round of six, like last sixteen. Nah. Never in a million years. No, nah, 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 if you right. keep the if you keep the the twenty Premier League teams seeded, I mean they get the advantage of joining the third round draw anyway. Yeah. If anything, it should be the other way around. I think. Yeah, they I mean, throw I the w- Premier League ch- Championship teams in at the first round, and then throw everyone else in the third round and see what happens. Just mix I mean, I, right I wouldn't up. see. I'll, I wouldn't seed all 20 Premier League teams. I'd maybe just seed like, the teams in Europe. The Europeans. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because yeah, the European clubs get the advantage in the League Cup as well, don't they? Because they start in the third round rather than the second round. Yeah, so at this point, we might as well just yeah, scrap yeah, all yeah, Cup competitions, right. start at the semi-final and just have City, <laughs> Arsenal, Liverpool <laughs> and Man four. United or something. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think we should scrap the League Cup anyway. Like, I, I like the FA Cup. Yeah, nah. I don't like the League Cup. I've never liked it. 
We don't. No, it's just no, it's I, just more games, isn't it? And no one really I cares preferred about it. the League Cup when it was like it's good, show me OG, like the early two thousands, where like the top four did play their like youth teams. Because mm. I used to go watch a, a lot of League Cup games because it was the only tickets I could get for France. So. And I used to like watching like Carlos Vela come through the system. You know, Cesc Fabregas going back. Yeah, I remember, like, I all, remember watching that like, one. I think that was. I think was it Rotherham? Cesc Fabregas came yeah, on and scored I mean, on his sixteen. Now, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. League, yeah. You know, um, but then, like, you know, man, yeah, I suppose Mourinho was the first one that started playing full strength teams, wasn't it? I blame him, Pep, but Mourinho started. I preferred it when they did play, like, their youth teams in it. Yeah. yeah, I just, it's just, you just don't want it, do you? It's just extra games. And until you get to, like, the semi final or the final, no one cares, like, if they go out, really. Like, everyone starts caring when it's a semi final. We're like, oh, we might win a cup here. Like, let's. Yeah. But no, no I agree with that. Win. It's the same with the Europa League, isn't it? Like, no one really yeah. cares until you hit the quarterfinals. Then you're thinking, Wait a minute, we can win the European Cup here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly that. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. So let's let's talk about Luton quickly. Um, they have obviously drew Man City in the next round. So Matt, Luton Town have managed to get in the last sixteen of the FA Cup. So I mean, let's assume they don't go down. If somebody said to you at the start of the season, I mean, Billy, hide your eyes now because you said they weren't winning the game this season. <laughs> but if you said. Luton Town will survive and have a cup run and get to the last 16, you'd be pretty happy with that, wouldn't you? Who are we talking to? Me or Baron? Well, I to the room. I would say, I mean, I think that all Luton fans are probably in dreamland right now, aren't they? they they're they living on cloud nine. I mean, if I was a Luton fan, they didn't buy any... Spe- I mean, I, I did like the Ross Barkley signing. I, I mean, I know it's easy to say that now because he has actually been quality. But I always rated. I always liked Ross Barkley. Like I, I was I, back in the day, I really hoped Arsenal might have signed him. And he obviously went to Chelsea, and obviously it didn't work out for him. He got injured a lot. But I mean, it could have gone a, a different path for him. But I think he's now showing how good he is. Even I mean, he must be getting on a bit now. He must be hitting thirty. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad for him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, such a good I'm glad player. that he's doing well. Do you know what I mean? He's, mate, he's so good. It's, it's such a shame because we've missed out on him for like England. Do you know what I mean? Things like that. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. If you're, if, if I was a Luton fan, I would be like ecstatic, like unbelievable. I'd be like, this is like the best it's going to get. I mean, if they stay up and they get given like the money again, because they've spent loads and they must have loads in the bank, and they get more money, they surely have to start thinking new stadium. Maybe I know you might that might take away a bit of like yeah. bit of the oomph to Luton or you know better players. But then if you're we said it, I think at the start of the season. If you're one of them sort of fringe Premier League players, you're probably more likely thinking, oh, I'll go join Leicester and do a year in the Championship than joining Luton and do probably be in the Championship next season. Yeah, yeah but that's what we're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, they are still... Are they in the relegation zone or just one pot plays above it? I mean, they are... They're not doing great. They're doing better. But people are starting to say, like, oh, they're going to stay up. But I don't think... I think they're still in the relegation zone. Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not saying they will only, yeah. stay up. They could. But only by a point and they have a game in hand. I've completely done a U-turn. I think they look the best out of the two, the three, <laughs> sorry, that have come up. Yeah, yeah they do better. now. I mean, unfortunately, Burnley, he just won't change his way, uh, Vincent Company, will he? So Burnley are just going to go down, like, playing decent football, but just not doing enough. Like um, yeah, exactly that. Yeah, exactly that. Like and um, Sheffield United are literally the worst team I've ever seen play <laughs> like for a long time. They just look awful all the time. I haven't really looked at one game and thought, oh, they've got a bit about them here. Like, Tottenham. Literally... They did all Tottenham, the, 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 the one that Tottenham nicked it's in the last minute. Yeah, yeah, but I mean... Before the 90th minute, they did all right. <laughs> yeah, but that's the problem, isn't it? These games are 100 minutes now. Yeah, um, yeah. That's true. I mean, gone are the days where you left in the 88th minute thinking, oh, I'll, I'll skip skip the fan yeah. run. You can leave in the 95th if you wanted to and still make it down the road. I wanted to touch on, you said about uh, Luton's transfer strategy about getting in Barkley. Uh, Townsend's another one where they've got in sort of free mm. agent Premier League experience. When you compare it to a team like Nottingham Forest that have gone out and just bought, I won't say bought everyone, but they've just spent a load of money, bought in what, 40 odd players in the last mm. sort of two years. Luton, even though Nottingham Forest are higher up in the league, they've obviously got more money, more resources. But I would say that Luton have had probably the best, better out of the transfers than what Nottingham Forest have. I mean, other than maybe like a Langer. Mm. There's only, well, four maybe. In, there's only four points in Luton and Forest yeah, in the but... league. And a game in I... hand, like you said. 
The managers ain't buying them players for Forest. That's the chairman going absolutely nah. mental because he's got in the Premier League. I think, I think with Luton, a lot of it is to do with like the players as such. Like they want to be in the Premier League. They like they probably know they're not good enough, but like if they give one hundred and twenty percent and they're playing someone that's only like someone at Forest who's only thinking, oh well, I can get a move if that if we get relegated, I'll just get a transfer. Whereas some of these Luton players. Might, that might not happen for them. That, you know, Luton might be the best they can do. Yeah. You know, other than you probably... You, I mean, Townsend's well into his 30s now, isn't he? He must be... He, I feel like he's been playing football since, like, forever. Since I was a child. This is probably his last club. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So he's probably thinking, this is my last hurrah. He only signed a six-month deal, didn't he? He just recently signed an yeah. extension to that six-month deal. I mean, but he's been he's been brilliant. He's been... I mean, when we played them, Arsenal, him and Bartley shot, like... You can see how good they... You know, they are Prem quality players, aren't they? But well, before you say Andros Townsend is like over the hill and ancient, he's my age. <laughs> he's 32. Old, old. 32. He's, 32. Oh, he's younger. To be fair, he's younger than I thought he was. He's younger than I thought he was. But he, you admit with me, he is, it feels like he's been around a long, long it does. time. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Him and Aaron Lennon at Tottenham used, used to be like, and that was years yeah. ago. That's what I mean. That's, I feel like he's been, <laughs> I mean, yeah, he is obviously younger, younger than I thought. But yeah, I mean, they have been, mate. Yeah, Luton have probably been the surprise package, and they're they're actually quite entertaining to watch. Yeah, they are. But everyone saying like, oh, like you know, they almost got a result against Arsenal. They almost got a result against Liverpool. They almost got a result against Man City. Almost getting results isn't getting you results. It's not going to help. No, but they learn from it, I suppose. The, the more it happens, hopefully, well, they, the more. <laughs> Well, eventually, it's hard though against teams like Arsenal that can bring well, of on. It is. Like, I know it is. Can They're... bring on like eighty million pound players off the bench or whatever. Like, no, I get that. I mean, they are doing well, and yeah, like I say, if I was a Luton fan, I'd be ecstatic right now, thinking what is going on. We're about to finish bottom of the league with the least points ever, and yeah. yeah, the two the two Championship clubs that finished above them last season are actually worse than us. Yeah, and they've brought loads of players. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I mean, how much does Sheffield United spend on that Cameron Archer? I quite like him, to be honest. But he, he, like, he can't do it on his own. No, nah, but the I'm rest just saying, of the team how much is good enough? Oh, yeah, I'm not was sure. It 20... the, the, the was it 20? Yeah, I think it was yeah, like 25 20... plus million. Like... Yeah. But... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so before we before we move on from the FA Cup, we're, we're going to touch on Man United. I played Newport County uh, last night. 3 2 win. Uh, a bit of fallout from that. I mean, 4 2. Was it 4-2? Four four it was 3-2. 4-2 yeah. in the end. Four two. Yeah. Come on, mate. Get your, stats. Get, get your stats correct. Come on. Huh? Cut, cut this yeah. out. Come on. I'll be come, corrected. Yeah, come on, nice. I'll be four corrected two. in 4-2. But 4-2 isn't good enough, really. I mean, you, how are you letting... Not, I mean, I saw the first goal that Newport scored, and that can happen. Like, it took a deflection. It, it was a wayward shot, whatever. But the second goal, they sort of cut through him a little bit. And Man United had a strong team out. And there's a lot been made of Anthony's celebration. I don't know if you've seen anything on social media or anything online about it. Um, there, there was one, he got a golden assist. There was one where he went to his sort of knees and was like pointing up to the gods or whatever. I can almost get that because that just looks like relief. But then there was another one where he did like a drinking tea celebration. He looked like he was playing FIFA. It's Newport County you've just scored against, the League Two. And you're acting like yeah. you just... I've seen this going what? around. I've seen this going around on thingy, right? Would... He's getting a lot of shit. They've been calling him a rapist yeah. the whole game. <laughs> you score, you're going to celebrate. Like I don't see the True. problem in people celebrating. Yeah. Winners... I would celebrate a goal, yeah. Yeah, winners... Yeah, I would celebrate, celebrate a goal. It's not a level yeah, to these celebrations, though. Like, in, in, in the moment, I get it. Like, with the adrenaline, you score a goal, you go and celebrate with your fans. and Yeah, I get that. I've not got a problem with that. But the fact that he, like, did this whole weird, arrogant, um, you know, drink. Like, he, 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 you mean, watch the it. Been called him a ra- they've been calling him a rapist all game. <laughs> they was literally shouting, Anthony, you're a rapist. He scored. <laughs> He's given a bit back. Does it matter? Yeah. Uh, I would have yeah. gave a bit more than that if they were calling me a rapist for 90 minutes and I scored. <laughs> so, I don't remember <laughs> that, yeah. But I mean, I do. I mean, he's been awful, isn't he? and I do know what you're saying. And it happened a couple of years ago to that. Who was that one that's at Fulham now that uh, Spurs uh, loaned in that Carlos Vinicius or whatever his name is? Oh, and, uh, he did it. In, yeah, yeah, yeah he did it for not no, yeah, not yeah. him, Carlos yeah, Vinicius. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he did it, didn't he? With, when he played for Spurs and they played that Marine. Do you remember them? Mm. Who made it to like the fourth oh, round yeah. or whatever. And he done like the Mbappe celebration. It's like, mate, you've just scored an open goal against a conference side, and you're like, 
doing. But I agree. I mean, if you score a goal, goal's a goal. why not celebrate? Especially if, like, he's, I mean, he's had a terrible season. He, I don't I think he hasn't scored a Premier League goal this season. Like, we're, sit- we're, sitting assist- here, we're sitting here talking about people celebrating professional goals. We celebrate goals on FIFA. Now, all these people that are moaning about Anthony, a professional footballer, celebrating a goal he scored in a professional football match. I've deb- debated about putting a suit on for my Champions League final once in on the football manager. So <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we celebrate down no, the park if we score against fucking yeah, eight-year-olds. We, we, we don't get paid 250 grand a week or whatever he's on. Uh, Does that mean he's not allowed to no, celebrate? Saying, so he gets paid? No, no, I'm not saying this is not what I'm saying. I'm not saying he cannot celebrate or he shouldn't celebrate. All I'm saying is, like, I understood the one where he was like sort of the relief or whatever or celebrating with your fans. I get he was getting a lot of shit. I just thought it was a bit strange that, you know, where do you, I, I would yeah, be a question. Where do you, yeah, I would be, but I'd still celebrate. Um, <laughs> but like I say, with the adrenaline at the moment, like in it at the time, but where do you stand on players like not celebrating against like old clubs? Um, it all depends how long you've been there. Because I've seen some of them have been on loan there and they're fucking not celebrating. If you've been <laughs> at a club like for like, you know, 10 years and you're a proper servant in this club yeah. and it's the club you love or whatever and you score, you might be a bit like, I don't know, just whack a fist in the air. But yeah, if you've just been on loan there or whatever and you've spent a fucking season yeah, there and that, score, just fucking celebrate. When that West Ham, when that West Ham defender scored against Arsenal, yeah. that Mathur Poffolus, he, he like put his hands up and like, apologise. Mate, I don't <laughs> think you played a Prem game for us. Like, yeah. you played a few League Cup games and that and you went out loan a few times. Mate, I would be like, I'd be running up to our going, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, you let me and get... Anthony celebrating. Because <laughs> he thinks he's yeah, still an Arsenal legend. Sorry, yeah. guys. I, That's I, true. I, know, like that, yeah. I know I've served you well here over the years, and I'm really sorry about that. I don't remember him playing the Prem game. Uh, the best thing we got done about him is I think we brought him for about five million and got sold him for about fifteen. But um, yeah, yeah, funny, no, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. I just, I just thought it was a bit strange. The other thing about Man United as well, lots, lots been made of Marcus Rashford not in the squad, um, and Ten Hag came out and said it was for an internal reason. And obviously yeah, we know he was, why though, don't he we? was out partying in um, in Belfast. Uh, he, he he got home, woke up Friday morning, or got got the flight home for Thursday night, Friday morning, whatever. Got home, was hanging, couldn't be asked to get up, and thought I'll tell them I'm ill, thinking that they probably won't look at him, and then see a load of photos on social media of him being in Belfast the night before. Yeah, in a I pub. Mean, he's ruining. He's ruining his his whole career, ain't he? He's going. He's not going. He needs yeah. to move I mean, away from Man United. You know, like what, they, they said they were talking about this on Talk Sport, right? On my way home from work today, and they were saying what is going on with Rashford. But I mean, he's what well, late twenties now, whatever he is. Like he's done quite a lot in football. He's earned loads of money. He put mate, if he was throw all out the wall or whatever, or give up his career, that's up to him. He's earned the money. Oh, yeah. Let him do what he wants. One hundred percent. If he wants to do do whatever he wants and go out for beer and that, then fine. But you can't play for Man United if you're going to do that. No, nah. he, he needs to move away anyway. He needs a complete refresh. I think he needs to move. Yeah, I think he needs. I mean, he was so good last year. I don't know what's happened to that Rashford of last year, but you know, the yeah. thing I would worry about Man United is I watched the game yesterday. Is Newport never looked out of the game? Yeah, they never looked out until that very final goal went in. They never looked out of it. You could have, like, you could. I was watching. I think they could get another one in. Like this ain't over. And that's I'd be more worried about the fact that Man United, Man United went 2-0 up and threw it away against, where are they? League 2 team? League 2, yeah. Yeah, mid-table League 2, yeah. Yeah, I mean, imagine being 2-0 up against a League 2 side and then scoring two goals. Whether if one of them was a little bit lucky or whatever, but... And you're not playing your kids either. So you're right. playing Casemiro. You play Luke Shaw's back. You've 80 million strikers yeah. playing. Bruno Fernandes is playing. Like, you've got a strong side out. Bad. Yeah, it's not... I'm my, you know, my feelings on Man United that they're absolutely useless and terrible. So, I, I, I get tired talking about them. Bad team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fair enough. Uh, let's let's move on then to uh, we're finally going to start talking about Jurgen Klopp announced this week or last week that he will be leaving Liverpool at the end of the season. Um, it's caused a little bit of a. a f- I don't know, like a domino effect. Uh, Van Van Dyke's come out and said he doesn't know what his future holds at Liverpool now. A lot of his backroom staff as well have said that they're going to be going at the end of the season. Yeah, I think um, I think that's just a natural thing when like a man, like 
He's been there like almost a decade or nine yeah, years. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that happened. Like his staff was always going to, unless his assistant manager was going to take over, which sometimes yeah. happens. Um, obviously he's turned around and said he's leaving. I, I mean, I do understand it, but um, I want to make a little point here, and it is a bit controversial this point. But he's done a good job. Yeah, we can all agree on that. Yeah, has yeah. he done a great job? One Premier League in nine years, one Champions League in nine years. I know it's more than a lot of clubs, I get that, and I know probably people are going to attack me for saying this. But is it. For, it, for me, you know, for me, right? It's, a, it's good, but is it great? If you look at the squad he had, right, I'm thinking Martin Skirtle and Dejan Lovren in defence. Um, you know, I'm thinking of that squad that he had that, that lost Dortmund in that in the Europa League up when, when they played. The squad now, what he's done to that squad is ridiculous. And even though last season they had a bit of an off season. They're they're back this season, aren't they? Like that squad is like he's completely yeah, got the spent loads again. of money as well. I know a lot of the Liverpool fans go, well, look at our net spend. Yeah, I fucking but hate that. Don't worry about the net spend, <laughs> mate. Don't worry about you got very lucky selling the team out for 150 million. But he spent money on that <laughs> yeah. team. You know, it's not like he's made that team out of the youth team, has he? I mean, it... no, no. But I mean. You, you, you ha- I mean, if the youth facilities aren't there or the players aren't in the youth system, then there's not much yeah. you can do about I get, it. Um, in there. But like, I, I get Man City have got like all the money in the world, but you look at what Pep's done in, in eight years. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job. I know he's spent billions, but... I've got, I got 115 know. financial fair play charges in the yeah, process. What I'm getting at is, though, he can still manage in the team. He does. It's not his offences, are they? They're the club's offences. He's still managing the team to the top. Yeah. But those offences potentially have let him have the squad that he's got. If Jurgen Klopp had the same situation and had all the players he wanted and no restraint, so would he have done the same thing? Yeah, going back to my original sort of thing, has he done a great job? For me, he has. I, yeah, me, I, th- I think he has. From what, from what he started, what he inherited, that team. I mean, yeah. I'm with you with the money thing. He should be doing that well because he's got players, he's got a goalkeeper worth 80 mil, he's got a defender worth 80 mil, he's got a striker worth 80 mil. Like, he's got <laughs> Salah, yeah. he had Mane. Like, I hate yeah. all this. I hate all that fucking. Oh, we have. Uh, look at our profits, uh, net profit. Look, we've spent less than these. It doesn't matter. Your squad value, you should yeah. be up there. You should be up there. There's I mean, no how much they spend question. on that Hungarian midfielder? Like, 60 odd million. And then they brought, obviously, McAllister, 45 million. Like, so they, they got a little bit lucky with, like, Robinson, 8 million. I get that. You know, it's a good buy. But Canate was 30 odd million. Like, say, so Van Dyke was 70 odd. Uh, Alison's seventy odd. Uh, other than Van Dyke, obviously Van Dyke and Alison, you mentioned good, like north for seventy million. Fair enough, but Salah was, you know, nowhere near the player he is today. Like he's done that at Liverpool, right? Yeah, he, wasn't, but, he was yeah, in good form. Yeah. So has Klopp done uh, that? Is that part of Klopp's maybe, achievements? Yeah. He's made those players. Mane. Maybe he just. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. They have made some great sight, like thirty-four million for Mane when they brought him. I thought. Wow, that's a ridiculous amount of money for an average Southampton player. But yeah, he obviously became. I wouldn't There's say one of the best them. players in the world, but yeah, they, yeah. I mean, it's management, isn't it? But you also, uh, if you've got the players around you, you know, you could also argue that they spent eighty million on Darwin Nunes, and I mean, he's done all right, but he's not setting worlds alight, is he? No, and you're not going to get every signing right, are you? I, I get that. Like, I'm not saying he's the best manager in the world or the best manager ever. Yeah, but I think I when you saying, look at yeah. impact on the team, for me, he's he's done a great well, job. I just think I'm... he's done a good job, but I think he could have been better. I think, he's, I think he's been unlucky that he's had City. Like, what did he, the 98 points they finished runners up? You don't finish yeah. fucking runners up with 98 points. I, That's City, um, I see a stat today that they've had 90, yeah, 98, I think it was, 97 and 95 points and have won one Premier League title. Sir Alex Ferguson's best ever season was 91 points. And he won 13 Premier League titles. That's what I mean. If you, That's I know this is like some alternate universe where City aren't a team. Liverpool win this league for the last five, six, seven years. Yeah. But they 100%. are. So, I think he's done a very, very good job. And I think they're going to miss him big time. Or do you think they'll win the Premier League this season? No. At first, I was going. I, I thought. I think they will now. I thought. Yeah, I think they will now. I thought exactly the same. As soon as I heard it, I was like, "They'll win the league now." Because they will. Yeah, I do. I think they will. Because he is a I good man I... manager, and they will make sure that they get the. Yeah, These are predictions right now. Man City will win that Champions League, and Liverpool will win the Premier League. I reckon. Yeah. 
They're I my think, predictions. I think Man City will win the league if De Bruyne stays fit. That's that's that's. The, I said it last week. That's that's what it turns it for me. It's De Bruyne coming back. Like he is the, just the best player. Well, in the if league. Liverpool don't lose another game, they win the league, don't they? There's no no way around it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I don't think that'll happen, but no, I, neither yeah, do I. They're, they're in the pole position, aren't they? But there's only 15 games left. It's not many. So who do you reckon? City, they? No, go on, hold. So with Klopp going, yeah, where do you reckon he goes? I know he said that he wants so, to take a bit of time off and stuff like that, but he'll be. I think he goes to Germany after the. I think he goes to Germany after the Euros. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I think because that will suit him. Because if he wants to have a little break, he can have a little break, can't he? Because like obviously international management is nowhere near as stressful or hands on as club management. He can go watch loads of football. He obviously is a football fan. I think this, I think he'd do quite well. This is this is what I reckon will happen, right? And if I'm right, will you quote me? I reckon that Alonso, right, will go to Liverpool. I yeah. reckon that Bayern Munich will sack Tuchel. I reckon Tuchel will go to Leverkusen and Klopp will go to Bayern Munich. Do you know what? I thought this. I did think this would happen, but then I thought that's too much. And I'm, do you know what? I'm not convinced Xavi Alonso is going to go there. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced. Either. I'm not convinced. If he either. wins, He's odds if on. he wins, he is odds on, but someone's got to be odds on. Yeah. But... If he wins that league... Uh, why wouldn't he want to make like because Lever- Leverkusen used to be a top top team in like Germany and in the Champions League, you know? Liverpool are like, something... top, top Liverpool. I get that Liverpool are top three biggest clubs in the world. When when did he played for them? When did he get they, that they're chance? The, they're Apparently, top, he... they're nowhere near top three biggest clubs in the world. Liverpool biggest well, Liverpool biggest biggest Absolutely club not, not, not best not not nah, best they're, clubs, not, they're nowhere near the, say them up there. top three biggest who are your top three I was having this conversation what, what, Man United really? Barcelona there's that's top three oh, there, you, there's no you must have been listening to the same thing I was there's, yeah, no, there's, I don't there's know. no argument I don't know if Man United well, I would yes. say I don't on know current in current current thing at the moment in my opinion the top best three teams in the world currently. Best of yeah, best. We're the biggest, yeah, biggest world, biggest. world brand, oh, biggest I'm, team. I'm, all right, I'm saying best. Then I'm going. I'm sorry. Sorry. Let me. The best. Who are the three current best teams in the world currently right now? Real Madrid, City. By, well, not even Bayern Munich. Are they seconds? I I went with City. Obviously Madrid, and I actually think probably Liverpool are the. Yeah, I mean they probably are. They probably are. Yeah. But they're in the Europa League. So they are teams but... in the Europa League, the the third best team in the in the world. They'll probably, that probably and they'll probably win that. Does that just show the lack of depth around the, the world at the moment for, for teams? You, you know, because I can't think of a, another team better at the moment than Liverpool. Like at, other well, than Barcelona, two. are a little bit in the mud, didn't they? At the moment, I mean, they just lost five three to Villarreal at home, which is a bit embarrassing. You know, Atletico Madrid are only fourth in La Liga. That Girona, or however you say the name, are still yeah. flying high. But I mean, PSG I look good name. They look all yeah. cool. Dortmund, um, but, but Dortmund are seven points behind Le- Leverkusen. Yeah. It might be four now, actually. Um, yeah. Arsenal just look a bit bang average at the moment. Yeah, but can we go back to the Hughes' claim that Liverpool are the third top three biggest club? Is it the they're around the top three? But I would still argue that I think they're bigger than Barcelona for me. I mean, that's mad. Nah, no I, I think, I'm saying, in my opinion, Real Madrid and Barcelona are one and two, and then Man United somehow are probably third. But I don't know how they're still third. They haven't won a Premier League in a decade. Barely won anything. <laughs> barely barely challenged for everything. Like, yeah, yeah. Barely but... challenged. Yeah, but what I mean is, like, some people say to me, oh, look, look, at, look at you. Arsenal ain't won it in 20 years. But, like, Arsenal weren't Man United. Do you know what I mean? Arsenal never beat Man United. Like, Man no. United were the pinnacle of the Premier League, weren't they? They were they were winning yeah, Champions yeah. League. They were winning Premier Leagues constantly. You know, they they won them every year, every other year. And then, like, their no- noisy neighbours have turned up and Liverpool have turned up. I mean, it must be horrible being a Man United fan. Horrible being a Man United <laughs> yeah. fan. Knowing that, <laughs> your, like, your two rivals are dominating English football and have done for the last decade. Yeah, that's quite bad. When was the last time Man United actually challenged for a Premier League? When Marino was there? And how many years ago was that now? I, know, I don't even think they challenged. They finished second. But no, I they finished they second, but yeah. Just like when Arsenal finished second to Leicester. We never got anywhere near them, but we finished second. No. <laughs> but my actual point, and the point I was trying to make is, we can agree to disagree on, on you know where Liverpool fit, but we can all agree they're bigger than Bayern Leverkusen. 
Yeah. So, uh, Real the Madrid point is, would Alonso Ancelotti go? goes, Xabi Alonso goes to Real Madrid. Yeah. There is no way yeah, he, he chooses yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool. I heard a rumour that Ancelotti yeah, yeah, yeah. Signs, yeah. So he's signing a one-year extension. I don't know if he's done that yet, but there are lots of rumours. Yeah, about obviously, if, if, the Real, yeah, if the Real Madrid job becomes available, he will go there 100%. I yeah, think I he agree. might stay where he is. He's still learning his trade. You know, he's obviously a very good manager. He's obviously doing a fantastically well there. You know, it, you know, you look at someone like Lampard, who, like, Almost jumped before he could walk, and it ran before he could walk. I should say. Went to Chelsea, just did not work out to him at all. Went back to Chelsea, didn't work out. Went to Everton, didn't work. You know, it's just. He'll look at that. But Can I just say as the well, other way. Beginning cool. like at the end of this season, you could have the Real Madrid, the Barcelona, the Liverpool, possibly the Arsenal job, Man United job, all up for fucking grabs. Yeah. yeah. By the end of this season, you could have all well. them I jobs available. That could be going. At PSG, I mean, they look awful. I reckon that job will probably be up for grabs again. That's what I mean. It's, it is mad, isn't it? I can't remember last time like there was that many jobs. It's like playing football manager, isn't it? Yeah, it's mad but, that that many big, huge Maybe I have to go get my pro, my pro licences quickly. <laughs> How quick can I get them? But huge clubs. But, a lot of them could be without manager at the end of the season. be a lot of changing around, I reckon. They're all, yeah, yeah. Oh. Talking to Barcelona, cool. talking to Xavi, um, what do you think about him leaving? Because he's what he's come out with, he's come out and said that, like, you know, he can't do it anymore, or he doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Like, he's a young, I young think manager. That's like, gonna, uh, well, that's he... going to put every single big club off signing him. Yeah. If you can't handle okay. the pressure yeah. at a big club, Liverpool ain't going to look at him, are they? When Klopp goes, there's no, no chance. If you can't handle a bit of media attention going, oh, like, you're not doing very well, or this or that, and you're going to run off straight away, he's. He's not cut out for it, clearly. Same what he, yeah, same what he said as well. He, what did he say? He said, like, not a word for word, but basically it's just like, it's a horrible job and it's not hard to do. But, mate, every job's hard, like, hard to do, isn't it? Every job's difficult. I, I have a question for you, right? Do you see, I mean, I know you said that no big club's going to look at him, but if De Zerbi leaves Brighton, do you see them maybe having a cheeky punt on Javi? I don't think he'd go to Brighton. He's, he's not... Yeah, I mean, he probably wouldn't. But like, I, I, that, I mean, I know he went out to like Qatar and all that, but like, I mean, he was probably getting paid a fortune, wasn't he? And he only joined Barcelona because they were in the mud. I mean, he did win them La Liga last season, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. So I mean, he obviously knows how to manage it, and but it's just not working well for him. But you know, I'm sure he'll probably manage another top club. I mean, yeah. Except... I feel like he'd be like the sort of bloke that turns up at Spurs. Do you know what I mean? It's going to put a lot of clubs off, I think, coming out and saying he can't, basically he can't handle it. Here's one for you. Obviously, you're saying about all the job switches. Would any of them go for Ange? Thinking, right. well, he's playing exciting football. I would. And he'd probably jump at a chance of managing a Barcelona or a, you know, a PSG. Would he, though? Like, I mean, hear me out. He's one oh, season. In, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. He's one season into the Premier League. Right? Premier League's biggest, best Can league Can you in the honestly world. see... Spurs winning a Premier League with the Italian that's in this league. Yeah. Like you you two are oh, gonna okay. hate this. You two are gonna hate this. They have the potential to be one of the biggest clubs in the world. Yeah, potential like there's, because there's of no the money that they've that. got in the stadium. So if they can but, invest it, well, get some players, who ain't gonna to want to play it? That? That's yeah, but you don't know, do you? You don't know. They're they're spending money now. Yeah, I and mean, getting I these players don't in. think I think don't in, the wrong, next, but... in the next five years. They will, they will be challenging. They won't go up or down, wouldn't they? Obviously, but, but that's, I that's why I'm saying personally... I think Andrew will stay because he's he's yeah, trying to build think, this project. I think yeah. I think he'll stay. Like, why would you leave at the moment? Like you said, you've got this state well, of the art PSG. training ground. You've got the yeah, they biggest, all have that, they? A, yeah, but you've the got clubs a... you're talking about all have it. Yeah, but this is like what has it been like the, the best stadium in the world? Like that's your home. That's where you go to yeah, work only every because day. It's brand new. I just I think it's brand new. I think he'd be mad if he left that. You mentioned PSG there, right? But yeah. PSG, right? If you don't win the Champions League now, you're pretty much out of a job. He's been, yeah, Celt- right. he's been, he's been the Celtic manager. He's been at a league where you're going to win the league every season. I don't think he wants that anymore. Like I, I would assume well, that was just an exa- that was just an example, wasn't it? I yeah. Mean, if the Barcelona job, I mean, I know I, I said like this is why I think Arteta might go. I know he's come round and said like he ain't going nowhere. It's fake news, but. I actually generally think that if they offer him the co- like the job in the summer, he might leave. Yeah, I generally do believe that, which I, I, I find think... really weird because they're even more in shit than Arsenal are. Do you know what I mean? At least Arsenal got no financial problems, and we can't buy <laughs> players. But he'll go there, and 
you know, yeah. I, they just. I mean, I, I did some digging on it, and I can't find anything that supports that he's going to... I even saw a tweet from a Spanish, respected Spanish journalist saying that the publication that leaked it actually sort of works for Barcelona, and they're just pushing yeah. fake news. Like, he's got no interest... Well, not no interest now, the, ever, but no interest now. Of, of yeah, Darwin. I mean, and he he would not turn round. I mean, I get why Klopp did it. Right, I get why. They're top of the league, galvanise the players, get them going, get them behind the back. But Arteo is in a bit of a struggle at the moment. I know we just beat um, Palace 5 0, but we're in a bit of like hurrah at the moment, up and down. We're not playing that great football, we're not scoring goals, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're going to suddenly turn around and go, yeah, I'm off at the end of the season, I'm going to go Barcelona. Because we, we would fall apart because no one would want to play for him, would they? They'd be like, what's the point of playing for this guy? I was just about so to say, like, gonna... he's come out going, oh, no, I'm not going anywhere. Mate, you might be sacked at the end of the season. If you don't. Yeah. If you get knocked out against Porto or something and you're not challenging for the league this year. No, it's, yeah, that's... I would. I said I. I wouldn't bother me if he led, if he went to Bar- Barcelona. The only thing that would bother me is who you get to replace him. I think there's... I feel like we didn't. We. I mean, we sort of went off topic a bit. Cause, but like, if obviously if Xavi Alonso doesn't go to Liverpool, who do they get? This is the problem. They're all the top top managers out there are already in top top jobs, and they're not going to get a Mourinho because that'd be well against like their policy. I wouldn't want Mourinho at Arsenal. Not because he's not a great manager, because I just think he was very disrespectful to Arsene Wenger. And I think we'd be disrespecting Arsene Wenger's name if you put Mourinho in charge. And I think a similar thing's going to be happening with Liverpool. There's no way they're going to, after the, the big Champions League games they had against Chelsea over the years, years ago, there's no way they're going to put him in charge, are they? So, he's out. Conte, he's managed Spurs, he's managed Chelsea. Would they be happy with him? I don't think so. I mean, who gets the job other than Xavi Alonso? Deserby. But I think I personally think he'll be Liverpool's next manager. I think that's what yeah, is that is that too much of a big step like Graham Potter did? He seems to have a bit about him though, doesn't he? This deserve he well, Everyone said about this him. about Graham Potter when he went to Chelsea, how great he was going to be. Next England manager, we're going to have him as England manager. You said it yourself. Yeah, but then you had got to be in more. But then, and then he fell apart, speak, didn't he? He's a bit of a he's a bit of a drip, ain't he? <laughs> I mean, I like Deserby, and yeah, definitely. Like, I'd probably throw his name in the hat. If I, if Arteta left, but I think it's a risk, isn't it? Because what he's again, what he's got at Brighton is loads of young, hard-working lads that you know are fighting because they buy all these South Americans and superstars that they they want to like they use Brighton as a stepping stone. You, know, you can't really use Liverpool and Arsenal as stepping stones. I mean, you can do, but <laughs> yeah, but what managerial <laughs> appointment isn't a risk? Yeah, true. Yeah, you can go and get Zidane, yeah, yeah. who like. He's in his Zidane, he's a world class manager apparently, who's only ever done it in Real Madrid and doesn't want a proper job because he knows he's probably not that good. Yeah, or you can go the other way, you can get someone like Unai Emery, which Arsenal did, didn't work out, but look at what he's doing at Villa and look what he did before us. It just wasn't a fit. Yeah, but you you got to, people seem to forget about this guy, like Emery, is that he actually went on an 18 game I beat and run with Arsenal. And then look what happened. He did. So. I wouldn't go too mad on the Emre. They're, they're, Aston Villa are playing very well and they're doing very, like, a very good job. But I wouldn't necessarily say he's now the chosen one. Do you know what I mean? Like, it could all come crashing down. I mean, when Gerard took that job over at Aston Villa, he did very well at the start of it and then just went completely to... Yeah. Fair so, enough. I mean, you got like... You could, like say, you've got to be careful with like things no. like that. If you had to choose one person now, Baron, if you had to choose one person, who would you choose to replace Arteta? Let's say he goes at the end of the season. Who is your top pick? Oh, there's only one candidate for me, and that's Diego Simone. If I could just pick a manager out of the sky and have him with no drama, put him in, put him in Arteta seat, it'd be him. He'd be the only one. He'd get him. He's disciplined. He knows how to win things. He knows how to defend. Oh, I'm so bored of watching us concede shit goals. I don't mind winning 1-0 every week. I'll take it. I don't mind singing 1-0 to the Arsenal. I've done it hundreds of times. I'll carry on doing it. I'll happily win every game 1-0 and win the league. Wouldn't bother me at all. And I don't think it'd bother anyone else. I think he'd win us trophies. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't but be But I can't either. see him, can't see him leaving Atletico Madrid. I just think he's going to be that kind of guy that's there for ever, I suppose. Billy, who would you who would you say for, from an Arsenal's point of view? Let's pretend you're an Arsenal fan for a minute. Who would you who would your number one choice be for that job? Uh, anyone but Arteta. <laughs> I think he's. You really don't like I, really, I think he's shit. You spent half a billion pounds I'm, and you. I done think nothing. he's done 
I think he's done an okay job. I think he's settled the sinking ship, but then again, like Bill just said, when you spend half a half billion pounds, you'd like to think anyone could do that. I was thinking about this um, earlier. There's seven, eight managers in the Premier League that are better than he is. I mean, like, like I, said, I said it to you two yesterday, I quite like Thomas Frank. Now, I don't know if like a job like that would be way too big for him. I don't know, but I do rate him as a manager. Yeah. Um, Serbia obviously is good. If I, if I was an Arsenal fan, which I'm definitely not. Just want to put that out there. <laughs> I would take Deserby. If I was a Liverpool fan, I would want Deserby. He does seem to be the next manager in line for a big job, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he's brilliant. If you can get Alonso, so, yeah. great. I think Alonso, this might be a bit out there, but hear me out here. He goes to West Ham. Oh, <laughs> goes to West Ham. What? Damn, what? He goes yeah, to West Ham. Like what? He goes to West Ham. Well, I, I'm going to do my one now because I said this to you the other day, but I don't think I said it on the podcast. Mourinho goes to Newcastle, Eddie Howe goes to England, Gareth Southgate goes somewhere. <laughs> Back to Southgate. Southgate. He's, he's, Man United Crystal goes to Man United. He's, he'll go Crystal Palace once Hodgson goes to Man United. Oh, that would be a dream. That would be an absolute dream. Gareth <laughs> Southgate at Man United. United. Please make it happen. Harry Maguire. <laughs> Or maybe Uri Emre gets the Man United job and then he goes back to um, Aston Villa. Right, we have gone way off topic here. So, yeah, we have. Next Liverpool manager, go. Boom, Baron. De Zerbi. Andrew? Alonso. Alonso for me. I'm going to go De Zerbi as well. I think it's a bit too... I'm going to say De Zerbi because I don't think it will be Xavier Alonso. I just don't think he's going to go for some strange reason. I don't know why. But who, I don't know, I'm going to sound like a right idiot now and I'm going to use that stupid term that I hate. You know, when people go, oh, you've got no ball knowledge. What the fuck is ball knowledge? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're asking or? No, it just annoys me. Is that me, your question? Oh, right. But who the hell is Ruben Amorim? Because he's the second okay. favourite for the Liverpool job. <laughs> I thought, it, oh, that was Barcelona, wasn't it? The Barcelona. That's about there. Yeah. Is he the What's assistant? Is he, Ruben, is he the assistant? No. Ruben Amor- Ruben. Amorim, A M O R I M. I have no idea who he is. I mean, how was he second favourite? I don't know. Five to one. Then you got De Zerbi after him. I thought he was going to be Pep Linders, but obviously he, he's not going to be. But he is. He is the Sporting Lisbon manager. Uh, yeah, Sporting Lisbon manager. Well, there you go. What? He is. A, he's a second favourite. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I mean, I was... fair play if they've scouted with him and he's, you know, I fair play. I mean, it's their job to scout these managers. I'm glad it went silent when 30... I said his name as well, because I do. 39 years old he is. Oh, you know that? Fair enough. He's yeah. the current sporting manager. There you go. Fair enough. Right, we're gonna we're gonna end today's episode with a few a few questions we've got from fans on social media. We've got two questions. Um, as you can probably imagine, they're both Jurgen Klopp related. That was a big news story this week. Um, let's go with the first one. Do you think Liverpool will be a revolving door of managers now Klopp has left like United was? And that's from Jay Kramer. So do you think Liverpool will actually have a long appointment? Their next manager, does he stay for 10 no, years? I just, no, I did say this the other day. You know, when, it, when, it, when managers are that good, I think sometimes it takes two or three to get someone back in. Do you, know, like, do you know what I mean? So it wouldn't surprise me if they have a manager and sack him six months later, no. Totally agree. It, it's Arsene Wenger, after Wenger, after yeah. Alex Ferguson. Look at Chelsea. They keep going through managers, don't they? It's so hard to get, because it's like instant. They want instant. And Liverpool will, they'll be expected what, to win a league. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, like, Arteta got given the time, one, because he won that FA Cup, and two, that Arsenal were in the mud. Do you know what I mean? They yeah. were awful. So it didn't really matter. Like, as long as he was getting European football, they probably didn't care. And they slowly got better. Like, if Liverpool are going to, like, they're at the top of the game. They need to stay at the top. Say, if a Deserby does come in next season, there's a big thing. Oh, yeah, we've got Deserby. We're gonna... He's about fifth or sixth coming into January, February. They're going to be wanting him out. Yeah. Yeah. And that's if he what, doesn't that's get what what he needs, whoever needs whoever gets in there needs to finish. At to be least fair, top I think three. the I think the Liverpool board would be stupid not to give it to Xabi Alonso. Because imagine if because that's what the Liverpool fans want, right? Imagine if they don't give it to him and they do, do get to Zerbian, they are going to hate. And he does a terrible job or a poor job, they're going to hate the board, aren't they? Yeah, and they'll have to make a decision, wouldn't they? 
and they'll have to sack him. It'll cost them loads of money, and then they'll have to get Xavi Alonso in. And so the fans want and probably pay even more money because if he doesn't go, he'll probably sign. He'll, he'll probably sign a contract extension with the summer, yeah, won't he? It, or that, or especially if he wins the uh, the Bundesliga title. That or he agrees to go to Real Madrid when Ancelotti goes, like that would be sort of. Oh, yeah, and, and then they yeah. lose out and then probably because you probably yeah. don't go from Liverpool to Real Madrid, do you? If you're still at the top, hmm. you'll probably yeah. stick where you are. I think, well, I can just win everything here, so why not? But it yeah. is a worry that when a manager that you've had for eight years now, who's absolutely adored by them fans, ain't he? And his players, that they could be. I was actually shocked. A few. I was actually, actually, like. Properly shocked, gobsmacked, every like when I was I was building a wall, and all of a sudden there was breaking news on, and I know it's gonna sound really sad. I thought they were gonna tell me someone had died, and then they were like, <laughs> "Jurgen Klopp has left Liverpool," and I was like, I, and I froze for a minute, and I was like, "What?" Right now, and then they were like, "At the end of the season," I was a bit like, "Oh, God. this is gonna but, sound bad," but when he'd but, actually done his statement, I, you know, the first thing I thought of, he's got cancer. I, I know what you're gonna say. I, I did, I did. I thought he's got. He's been told he's got six months to live. Yeah, That's generally what I thought. I thought he's been told he's got like six months to live, and he's gonna, he's gonna have, like spend the rest of his days on his own. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I thought. I, I generally thought. And I, do you know what? And this gonna sound bad as well. It wouldn't surprise me if that is the reason, and he just hasn't come out and said it yet. Yeah, like an well, illness. You or something. know what? It, it's a weird time to announce it if there's not like an underlying reason, right? Because you're on a title run. Like you're going for the title, why then unsettle everything by going? Oh, by the way, at the end of the season, I mean, you, you could, like Billy said, oh. you could have the opposite effect. It could motivate them, but he's an absolute genius. Oh. He's going nowhere in the summer. He's just uh, yeah. all the fans, all the players. They're going to win the league, and he's just going to go uh, joking. <laughs> they, win, they, win the, that... they win the they win the they win the quadruple, and he turns around going four more years. <laughs> <laughs> A year for each trophy. Like, yeah. We worked you yeah, out, Clock. We worked trade. him out. Yeah. So I, to be fair, you heard it here first. I saw it trending on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, it's a hell of anyway, a we hope that That's answers your does. question. Uh, with Clock leaving at the end of the season, which manager do you think will challenge City? So I guess you have the you know the Clock Pep head to heads. Who do you think? I mean, I think Billy probably thinks Zerbi wherever he is, but who no. do you think is the, the next manager? No, Big Ange. Who knows? What a big guy. Oh, big yeah, Ange. Big Ange. Yeah, Big Ange. Or it'll be Mourinho when he's at Newcastle. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. I'm, I'm convinced that that is going to happen. So Southgate will get sacked as England manager, or he won't get sacked. He'll just step down, where, whatever we do, whether we finish getting us out of the group stage or win it, he'll step down. Eddie will take the job because he will get sacked as the Newcastle manager because they're going to finish mid-table, aren't they? So they're not going to give him any more money to spend. So he's going to go. But he's done an okay job. He's done a very good season last year. He'll get the England job. And, yeah, Mourinho will walk in to there, unless he takes the big Saudi money, which I'm not convinced he will. Or he might even take the Saudi thing and still go there because they're owned by Saudi anyway. So you think it's <laughs> Mourinho Pep going to be the, the, the right Yeah, that'll head. be the next. Yeah. So here's a, you know, a co- maybe controversial opinion. I think maybe not the end of this season, maybe the end of next season, I think Pep's gone. I think he leaves. I think now Klopp's gone as well. I think he's like, maybe it's time for I me to I did wonder, though. Well. Do you know what? I was chatting to uh, my nephew and I did say that to him. I said, I wouldn't be surprised if now Klopp's gone, maybe not the end of this season, but the end of next season, Pep goes because he's lost that that fire yeah. a little bit. You know, that art, like... Yeah, especially if he wins so, the Champions League again or the league again. It's like, what more can I do here? Like, yeah. I've done everything. If they're in League oh, 2, like every trophy. Year. He's going to look <laughs> Yeah, he could do a journeyman save and just go all the way up the leagues. I imagine that. Imagine if they do seriously get thrown out of the league. We spoke about it last I week. I fucking love it. That, 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 if they're found guilty of some of these charges, that is likely what is going to happen. So we have to we have to keep our eyes peeled for that. So who do you think um, is going to be challenging Pep then? I don't think it's going to be Pep. I think Pep's going to go. I don't think he's going to be right. Like, I think so you he, think I, that'll be... I think I'm going to put. I'm going to go on a limb and say he goes at the end of this season. But I think more likely he goes, at, he goes. Yeah, I think it could happen, but I think more likely in the next season. But I don't. Who's the next Man City that. manager then? No, I'm proper pushing the boat out now, aren't I? Deserby. Deserby. He's going to match for all. So who do you think is going to be the big rivalry next year? Then big man, you like you don't even got the old Pep Klopp anymore. Then they're both going to go. Who do you reckon it's going to be? Arteta and Big Ange. Yeah. Arteta's be gone. 
<laughs> no, it's gone. Is, isn't it mad that other than Big Ange, Ten Hag might be the only manager in like, the top six that have still got a job and he's like, been by far the worst? Mate, he's getting sacked. He's <laughs> got to go at the end of the season. If he don't win the FA Cup, he's got to go. And are they in the Europa League? No, they're not even in any of that, are they? No, no if he don't win that FA Cup, he's got to go. And I mean, I'll be honest with you, they sacked Van Gaal when he won the FA Cup, so I don't see why they wouldn't do it again. I would have sacked him last night when Newport scored their second. I would have called him up. Have you seen that? Oh, See seen, you later, mate. about Ivory Coast? No. Nah. Well, what was that? So Ivory Coast sacked their manager at half past one in the afternoon yesterday. Because of the weird way of the African Cup of Nations is worked, the, wor- the best third place finished team qualifies. They actually qualified at 10 o'clock PM oh, to the last 16. But they <laughs> sacked their manager at half one in the afternoon because they didn't think they'd make it. So they've got no manager and they're going into the last six, the, the last 16 of the Af- African Cup of Nations. That's they're winning now, they? Yeah. The, 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 I don't, the, I, I don't know if he's been reinstated for the tournament or... <laughs> yeah, that's right, funny. Andrew, who's but your no, Nigeria also... rivalry next year? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, th- I think... Oh. I, I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say Arteta stays in the job, right? I think it'll okay. be Arteta and Deserby, but Deserby won't be a Brighton. It'll be a Man City. It'll be, yeah, or Liverpool, or one of those teams. Which, whichever team he ends up at, it'll be that. Interesting, I think interesting. both two, fi- two, two, two fiery personalities, aren't they? Like, both both get into it. I, I oh, mate, I'll tell you, such Spanish. a little bitch, though, isn't he? Do you not... <laughs> I, really do you, don't like like him. I really don't like He's the most unlikable for Pelican ever. He's just a bit of a bitch. He's just moans and fucking... He's going, oh, and yeah, don't. it really upset me earlier when, uh, when I heard the rumours that I was leaving. Yeah, that's a bit Fuck weird. Fuck off, you dickhead. <laughs> he's going anyway. He's already signed the contract. He knows it. I think he's off. I really do. I think he goes. Yeah. It's more, I think he goes think... in the summer to Barcelona. The man's a cop. I think we finished, uh, we finished third or fourth. We make the quarterfinal, semifinals of the Champions League at best. And I think Barcelona offer him a thing. And he'll see this as a way out. And he'll think, well, to be fair, I've spent half a billion pounds. And in four and a half years, I've won two community shields and an FA Cup. Maybe it's time to move on. It could happen. He could leave. But you know what as well? Pochettino's been, a, a, been at Chelsea for about six months now, so he'll be sacked soon. So <laughs> he could be available as well. One of these big jobs. Maybe, maybe. Imagine that. Imagine if they do sack Eric Tang hard, right? Obviously, clock goes. Um, right. Pochettino gets let go. Arteta goes to Barcelona. Then four jobs available in the summer. Yeah. Yeah, it's mad. He's mad. I've never seen anything like that. If if that happens, I've never Plus, seen anything Plus, Real Madrid and Barcelona like jobs are available as well. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Well, then... Barcelona would be because that's where Arteta goes. Yeah. I think Bayern Munich but... will be as well. Imagine if, if Bayern Munich don't win that league. And they've spent 80 million on Kane. They've brought a midfielder, didn't they, yesterday for 30 million. <laughs> they brought, brought Eric Dyer. That, that, that's a suckable offence in itself. No, I think that job will be up for grabs. PSG will be up for grabs. Hey, what time Probably. to be a manager? What yeah, time? fantasy booking, everyone. Um, who's, oh, that, who's, is it you, Luis Enrique? Is he the manager of PSG at the moment? I think he is. Is he? Yeah, I think he is. No, he was. I thought that was... Oh. It's quite bad. I can't remember who the manager of uh, PSG is. Let's quickly do this. Oh, no, it is. Well, it is. Yeah, Luis, oh, Luis Enrique. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Luis Enrique. He's been in the for quite a while. I can see him being an Arsenal manager. Yeah, I could. Plays that sort of style of football, did not he? I could see it happening. I don't particularly want it to happen, but I could see it happening. No, yeah, no, me neither. Diego Simone, he's the only guy for me. Otherwise, I'll just keep Arteta because he just he just keeps us flowing, <laughs> and he might win something eventually. Keeps you knocking about. Yeah, I'd definitely. rather finish third and fourth than finishing seven and eighth like we were three, four years ago. Yeah, I reckon yeah, if I mean, you like... give Arteta another half a billion, you might get another <laughs> FA Cup. <laughs> he might get an FA Cup. <laughs> We might win that league cup. Yeah, yeah, I reckon. Right, that is that is all we've got time for on today's episode. Absolutely so brilliant. I'm going to hand over to Baron to sign us off. Thanks for having me back, guys. <laughs> Sorry about last week, but you know things happen. Um, I'm not at the game this weekend, unfortunately. I decided to take a, take a break, or maybe just not get drunk so much. Um, thanks for listening. It was fun. It was enjoyable. I, it did go a bit off topic at times, but I think that's sometimes better in it. Um, good episode tonight, I think. Let us know what you think on everything, social media, everything else. 
And uh, we'll see you next week, I suppose. Football feast, extra pal, pal, playing soccer, grab your keys, playing soccer, time to meet, playing soccer, time to greet, they finna talk a lot, okay, playing soccer, get